Hi, I took a wheelie bin full of uh, stuff down to the dumpster room and I came back with, well, a more than full um, wheelie bin full of what looks like uh, medical type equipment in like original boxes and stuff. So, well, let's go through them, shall we? Let's have a squiz at what we've got. It's from a company called Lonza and a quick check shows that uh, this is a Swiss company that make uh, all sorts of medical things, hence why I've got the gloves on just in case, because I don't know, there might still be some human waste in, in this bin or something. But I'll put up a sort of like list of stuff that they kind of do and I, I don't know, I'm going to pronounce all these things wrong, I'm sure, but uh, what we've got here is a uh, Lucetta Luminometer? Uh, lum luminometer? Um, uh, <laughs> let's have a look. So it's not completely uh, new in box, but like it's got all the stuff. It's got the quick start guide for myco alert, mycoplasma detection assay. Assay is uh, just the technical term for like uh, measuring the uh, purity of something. So if you assay like gold or something like that, you're measuring like the purity of it. So I assume it means a similar sort of thing. We've got a USB cable, like we've got, <laughs> it looks like it was, yeah, one of those weird ass Yankee things. So uh, we've got the adapter and here it is. Look at that, Lonza, a Lucetta Luminometer. Um, okay. It's still got the thing on it that, whoa, there you go. Well, hey, look at that. That's where you obviously stick your sample in there. Don't know what that is. It's sort of like some weird reflective, is that you, you put something in there I, and then you I close it up. I, I, I got no idea. Um, it's just a USB interface. So there you go. That's interesting. There you go. You get the, uh, like you put the tubes in there. They look completely unused, so yeah, you put your tissue sample or something, I don't know, a blood sample, what do you, yeah, more, more tubey bits. Next, next, what do we got? Look at this thing. What is this? It's an Amma X. Uh, what's an Amma X? An Amaxa? Amaxa thing? I don't know, it looks impressive. It doesn't, no, that's just, I thought that spun around, but no, that's just to, that's where you put your, I don't know, you put your vial or something in there and you spin it around and then it does the detectory bits on the inside. Um, yeah, not, oh, okay, there you go. Uh, external electrode sockets, use only with a Maxa certified equipment. Okay, but that is mains powered. Looks like it might have cereal out. So that's interesting. And I found a whole unopened box of uh, these little, like, little vial thing, or you put like samples in there and I guess it, like you can sample an entire array or something like that. So corning ones, so they're, um, you know, wet cell culture plates. So you put like, do you put the same sample or do you put all different samples in there? How'd you label them? Got no idea. Um, let's have a look. I've got like plug, I think there's like plug packs and things. Yeah, like, you know, score plug packs, great stuff. Keep those. Um, yeah, more, more plug packs, fantastic. Um, yeah, what is this thing? Um, I, I don't know. Look, it's got a cam. Oh, that's a webcam. That's a Logitech webcam. There you go. Oh, and yeah, you probably can't see that, but I've just scored myself a Logitech webcam. So we'll take that apart. Um, obviously, uh, that's of no use on its own, but it's all, like got some sort of filter on top. What else have we got? There you go. That looks like a high voltage power supply. I've done those uh, before and there you go, uh, Lonza flash gel power supply, uh, 300 volts DC, 400 milliamps, 60 watt jobby. So there you go, that's not bad. Um, it's not gonna be like a spectacularly regulated output because they just use them for, uh, what was the other one? I, was it an electrofluoresis um, power supply or something I had? Anyway, um, <laughs> let's go into the magic bin. Look at this, oh, this, this is heavy. That is a 4D nucleofector core unit. Uh, sounds impressive. Okay. <laughs> this is great stuff. Um, obviously used, but not, look, I've even got, oh, look at that. Wow, choose your vessel, <laughs> choose your fighter. Um, w wow, okay. Uh, it's, I, I don't know what it does. 
it, I, it looks like a very impressive bit of kit. Um, geez, like, I was, oh, look, it's got the software as well. I, I got their PC editor software and manual. Are you kidding me? This is like new, this is new in box. Even got the USB stick. Wow. Got the, whoa, look at that. Look at that. That looks like, <laughs> that looks like something NanoRaptor. Um, came up with, who is an excellent follow on Twitter, by the way. I'll have to link her in down below, but NanoRaptor, um, absolutely fantastic. Look at that. It's got some huge, in a D shell, it's got some huge power pins, um, a couple of fiber, op uh, uh, they fight, no, they're not fiber optic. They might be like high voltage, maybe. At first I thought they looked like maybe fiber, but no, they're not. So, wow, that's interesting, huh? Oh, look, no, seriously, this is wrapped. This is rat. This is like new in box. Wow, are you kidding me? Ugh. Oh man. Wow. Okay, I was going to make this a teardown video, but no, no. This is going to have to be completely separate. Wow. Okay. This is just nuts. 4D nucleo effector core unit. Uh, that manual showed that it had, is there an X unit as well? Maybe I've got the X unit. Um, down the bottom. That'd make, that'd make sense. Um, I, I better go double, oh, double check the, whoa, double check the dumpster. That's just a display. To close display, pull it gently towards you. Don't push. No. Okay. It's not going back down. Okay. I've goofed that. Oh, okay. I have no idea what the trick is there. Okay. Let's see what else. Oh yeah. I got, <laughs> I got a bag of smiley faces. <laughs> That is terrific. Wow. Oh, that, that makes a great thumbnail. That makes, I'm going to use that for a thumbnail. That's just crazy. A new in box. I mean, here we go. Okay, we've got something else. Uh, no, no, it's a Cyto Smart 2 device. What's a Cyto Smart 2 device? Um, oh, oh, hello? Uh, <laughs> come on. All the medical people out there, I know there's a percentage of you um, who watch and they're probably going, oh man, I'd kill for that. Oh wow, it actually comes with the product license key. Um, are you serious? Oh, is that it? Is that it? Uh, looks just like, okay, it's got a LED and a camera. Um, made in the nether regions. I don't want my viewers in the nether regions. Um, Distributed by Lonza, so it's uh, Sio Smart Technologies is the company that makes it. But what else we got? Um, USB-C hub. <laughs> so I scored a nice little USB-C hub in there. Oh, it's only got two. Okay. Oh, there you go. Um, it's got a through. Oh, it's got the ethers as well. So that's, geez, that's nice. That's beautiful. That's a Bobby Dazzler. I think that's all you get. Oh yeah, look, looking at the photo again, it does, that's that's what I got. So obviously there's a lead source up here. It's probably just, you know, it's better than just a normal LED. It's, uh, you know, got, I don't know, some fancy spectrum or something. Um, and, you know, it could just be UV or something like that. Who knows? But uh, anyway, it's designed, you put the vial in there of whatever liquidy, it doesn't look, it's kind of, it's red, but I don't think it's blood. Um, and you put that in there and there's some sort of detection camera on the bottom, ah, a new era of personal affordable uh, live cell imaging systems, integrated cloud functionality, <laughs> wank wank, uh, in your office or home, outside, oh, you can use it, okay. So it's like a consumery thing, outside a clean room or incubator with defined hypoxy conditions, simply view your cell culture in real time. Okay, so you take a cell culture? Is this like a cancer thing? Do you take like a, a scraping from your skin or something and then, uh, stick it in the liquid and then it you leave it for a week or something under the light and it cult it you know it uh, multiplies or whatever and then you can view it I, I can only assume that's that's what it is um that's interesting and gotta get the head down here into the dumpster but we got what is this okay an endo safe PTS portable test system. Um, it's serial number May. It's, you know, calibration date is June 2020. It's got the Ethernets and DC. What does it do? Ta-da! Charles River Laboratories. Endosafe PTS. 
Okay, so you stick your thing up the clacker there and uh, it analyzes it. I don't know. And once again, these all come with the power supplies and everything. I think there's more stuff down there actually. I'm gonna go for a second, uh, suck of the sav. Yes, I'm back and I do have more stuff. Let's check it out. Ta-da! Yeah, will this be that max matching box? Uh, it's a mystery. Micro alert microplasma detection kit. Once again, I get the software and the certificate. Wow! And yep, and another CD. This is this is pretty much new in box. No, it's not the thing, but we get a uh, holder for all our little culturey things. Oh, it's no, it's the same as same as what we had before, isn't it? That's the same flippy thing. Yep, exactly the same. Except we've got one of those new in box. Ah, oh, I was hoping to find that matching, uh, that matching unit. Don't you hate it when you don't get like complete systems in the dumpster? I mean, come on, if you're gonna throw it out, throw out a complete system um, for that base unit thing I had. Anyway, oh God, I've got no room left on the floor. I have one more item, which is rather interesting. Look at that, Parker. So it's not, uh, it's not branded that, look at that. 10 turn pots, thank you very much. And, uh, whoa, look at the way. Has that been used? Is there any liquid in that? I wonder. Yeah, so you wrap your tube around there like that and it's just got a wheel in there that then, uh, you know, it changes your pump rate um, of your, uh, whatever stuff you got flowing through the tube. That one doesn't have it, so yeah. There you go. It's just like a roller. It's nothing. I don't think it's anything fancier than that. Um, so yeah, it's probably just got some DC motors in it. And on the back, there you go. And a DC input thing. But there you go. That's a cute little Parker. Uh, I might do a two minute tear down of that. But the other stuff, uh, might have to leave it for another video. And it's American. It's got that weird ass Imperial stuff. It didn't the three millimeter Allen key didn't fit and the two and a half is loosey goosey. So yeah, weird ass Yankee stuff. But let's, uh, let's crack that open. 24 volt pump. This would be a nice uh, instrument case actually, you know, a, a bench top um, case. You could, you could do something interesting with it, I'm sure. Seems like it's maybe a little bit used, but there's no, there's going to be no uh, crusty business in there. Oh, there you go. Nice little uh, stepper motors, are they? And, uh, oh, they're, they're just controllers, I think. Uh, UI robot. UI robot controllers. Anyone know them? Oh, look. Oh, there you go. Nice. So that's a good score. So we've got uh, the two 10 turn, turn pots. Are they Burns jobbies? No. Vache Spectral uh, Precision Potentiometer. There you go. That's, that's a nice little score, isn't it? Um, don't know what I'd do with it. Uh, leave it in the comments down below, but yeah, that's pretty groovy. I like that. And now you might be able to see the part number on that down there, perhaps. It's an interesting score. Um, <laughs> got any idea what this stuff does? I'm not gonna bother for this manual. This is just like a dumpster unboxing. Uh, but if you are in the medical field, let us know. Have I got a decent, score here and would you like to see a tear down like there's probably not a huge amount in it you know there's probably like in this i don't know what is there a, you know some whiz bang light source or something oh that one could be interesting this one um you know there, there's not much happening in it no i reckon that's just you know some sort of whiz bang spectral thing maybe just measures the visual spectrum or something perhaps let us know the comments down below on that that webcam um, i wonder what webcam i've got can I get that out of there? It's a flash gel camera, there you go. But it's just a Logitech camera with a little little filter on it. It will succumb to my percussive maintenance. There you go, so it is custom designed to fit that little Logitech. It's a HD 720, ah, oh, it's old, okay. Yeah, it's a 720p, nothing special there, but I don't know. <laughs> if you like that uh, dumpster score, give it a big thumbs up and uh, as always, discuss down below and uh, let me know what I've got here. Catch you next time. Hello.